Welcome to the Pump and Dump channel for a quick update on CNX resources before the earnings come out on Tuesday the 29th. So there's been some news in the last couple of weeks um, or months you can say if you're going over the quarter. Um, this news is recent Pittsburgh International Airport they want to start sourcing some natural gas from CNX resources as well to kind of generate electricity locally they're also going to be using some solar panels and stuff like that so Overall, this is a catalyst that could be positive for Cinex resources uh, on, on an overall basis. Uh, another thing to consider is, of course, back in uh, September, I think it was, yeah, when Saudi Aramco news hit and the, the natural gas price and the oil price were up sharply. Um, they were kind of, you know, the natural gas price, they were kind of trading like um, 250 to 270. So at this point in time, if we look back at what Cinex Resources has done in terms of their hedge book, they sold forward production for next year and the year thereafter, ranging from 238 to 268 in the past. So given the natural gas price of 250 to 270, there is a good chance that they will increase the hedge book and um, lock in some uh, accretive sales going forward. That might lead to, of course, just the, them producing what they're going to produce anyway or what they've been guiding towards producing anyway and just you know, hedging that production or it might lead to additional sales. We will see. Um, another thing to talk about is CNX Midstream. It's um, kind of the um, the company that, uh, you know, kind of helps them get their the natural gas from their field to the, uh, to the utilities or whatever. Um, this is an important thing to look at. Uh, they've talked in the last, I think, conference call, they talked about how the stock is cheap. They kind of talked about it as currency and that they, you know, they were kind of like indicating that they were hesitant to sell more units because the stock price is so low. If we look at it, it's uh, yielding about 12%, let's say. They increased their quarterly distribution to 40 cents per share or per unit uh, recently. I bought some at that point in time at 13.30 or maybe in maybe just below that in the 1320s but uh, it was kind of uh, it was kind of up here I, I bought up there so it kind of just after the low but overall still a good time to buy in my opinion uh, the reasons why I bought are very simple payout ratio is about 65 percent according to the statistics here on on uh, Yahoo Finance so there ha there's some room to keep growing that distribution they've been growing it for a long time it's you know incrementally like a cent or two cents or something like that but it's growing overall and that's that's a positive thing and the um, the CEO of CNX Midstream he's going to be the the new CEO at CNX Resources when the current one retires I think it's um, beginning of next year he retires and then th this guy comes in but um, the most important thing is of course to think about how he's going to manage the business and he might have a bias towards he wants to keep growing CNX midstream so he might like just try and increase the production at CNX resources to kind of keep this one growing too and you know he might have some bias to favor CNX midstream over CNX resources because that's where he's coming from and that's where he knows best but we will see what happens overall I think that um, I don't think it will necessarily be a bad thing when the CEO changes uh, of course the current CEO is uh, a very 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 smart guy who's led this company back from uh, I don't know when he came back in but uh, he kind of came back in and he has done a good job in my opinion so what is important to note about this distribution of course for US investors they have K1 forms they can kind of claim back the uh, the amount that's that's withheld but Europeans like myself we got to pay like a, a ton of uh, tax on this distribution something like 37 percent and there is an IRS form and I you know, I, I bought a small position. It's about a tenth of what I have in um, in CNX resources because of this uh, distribution thing. I want to see how that goes with the IRS form for international investors, see if I can actually get the money back or not. And um, that will kind of be uh, the platform for me to decide whether to look at other, you know, midstream partnerships or other LPs that are out there and, uh, you know, build positions in them if I like what I see and if I can actually get the um, the distribution back because sometimes you can buy these stocks like now at 1330 or 1375 and your fair value is let's say 16 and you can uh, you know you can trade it but you want if there is a distribution payout you actually do want to get the full amount because that's that's better than paying 37 percent tax on the distribution so anyway um, 
one th key thing to note about this uh, partnership, though, is that how it's skewed to be in favor of uh, the parent, which is CNX Resources. This is the reason why I have a lot more money in here than in here. Of course, this is a more stable company than this one. But uh, the key thing is to look at how this distribution is um, distributed, let's say. You have the, the partners, which are the unit holders, and then you have the general partner, which is the parent CNX Resources. And the key thing is that a low distribution, like, you know, when it was very low, uh, like 98% went towards the, the partners who owned the, the shares in the unit here. And then as the distribution increases, more and more goes towards the, the general partner, which is CNX Resources. So as this business succeeds, it's actually, you know, it, it's kind of bad for the unit holders, the, the, the partners, the common partners, let's call them, because more and more starts going towards the the parent. So that's kind of uh, a key thing to note and to look at. Um, so, yeah, we have this distribution issue, but the company keeps growing the distribution. That, that's very good, and it's going to benefit CNX resources um, going forward. Um, what else can I say? If we look at the relative performance over the last couple of days, it's not been as strong as uh, other ones like uh, Southwestern had a strong day on Friday. Range Resources had a very strong day. EQT was kind of the same as CNX Resources. I've been buying some Range Resources in the last couple of days, actually, and I, I'm going to probably have to uh, do a video about that. You know, when I've kind of looked in and gotten to understand this company a bit better, I kind of like what I see, so I bought a small position. Uh, it's, 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 you know, it's been doing well. It's uh, going in the right direction, let's say. But we will see, of course, uh, whether I actually like this. But the key thing for me is, of course, I want to find some more companies in the same space, like uh, CNX Resources, Range Resources, and kind of get a comparative uh, table where I can see like when one is undervalued, I can move into the other and, and vice versa. So I can kind of um, grow the value of my investments as the, um, um, how do I say, as the market progresses up or down. So that's kind of a strategy I'm going to be looking at doing. But um, for getting back to CNX resources now, of course, the Tuesday is the key date. Where do I think the stock can go? I think we can go to $10 based upon the um, the available information. If we price in some additional stuff or a higher natural gas price, we could be at 13 in the longer term. Of course, it, it won't go from like, you know, 767 to $13 on the open, you know, after the earnings come out. It's not going to happen in my opinion. And if it does it, then it will s sell off quite quite sharply because people will be taking profits. Um, what more can I say at this point in time? Uh, earnings going to come out. We will see what happens. Uh, I want to talk as well about the natural gas price because we're kind of rolling over from the November contract into the December contract. And the November contract is still like 230 or so and the December one is like 245. So if we kind of base the valuation based on that 245 or 250, the stock could be $12 at this point in time. It's kind of what we value the uh, the resources at in the long term, um, given where the uh, the natural gas price is at at this point in time. So we will see what happens going forward. I th I'm feeling very positive about the investment. So just to get the disclaimer out, remember this is not investment advice or recommendations for you to buy or not to buy this uh, this investment. That's up to you. Uh, it can be uh, dependent on your risk tolerance your profile um you know, can be a decision whether to buy or not to buy there's, there's all kind of factors you have to consider but overall i uh, just need to make that disclaimer because i don't want people to to buy and then write hate mail and stuff and say that uh, i you know i tricked them into an investment or not so if you have questions comments opinions you of course can leave them in the comment section and if you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe and have a good day